can call it home. Is it? The bite, yes. I can't believe we made it. Are the people nice here? Nobody will attack us here, Hugo. This town is under the protection of the Count of Provence. He's a very powerful lord. I must say, this is beautiful. Are you sure the alchemist is waiting for us? Well, Magister Vaudan told me he'd prepared a house for us. An entire house? Yes. The order is very old. They own houses and much, much more. They built your mother's laboratory and even the Chateau d'Ombrage, remember? Yes. It's nice they give us a house. That's because you're very important to them. Would His Majesty allow us to enter the city by his side? I allow. Go take a quick look with him. Thank you. The house is in the upper part of town. It has a phoenix weather vane. Understood. And be very careful. Find anything you like? I like everything here. <laughs> Come, there must be plenty of other things to see. Where do we start? Well, what do you want to see? Everything! We'll try. <laughs> goat milk! Fresh goat milk on demand! These are all wines and liqueurs made from the plants of our hills. Hello, piggies! Roasted meat! Come taste it! <laughs> oh, it smells so good! Hey, come on. Try a little piece. Go on. Oh, yum. <laughs> you like it? Yes. But it's not piggies, right? Um, come on. Let's go see the rest. Yes. That was good. I'm hungry now. Let's keep going before you ask for more. Hear ye, hear ye! The Count Victor of Arles welcomes you all to the yearly fair of St. John. Enjoy goods from our region and beyond at the market. Make deals at our fish auction and try your skills in a free session of a shooting game. Tomorrow's event is the long-awaited cow fair. Get ready to overbid. The Count Victor of Arles wishes you all an excellent St. John's fair. Uh I should check that stand. Have you seen? What? The people here. They're smiling. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Oh, look up there. The house with the weather vane. That's ours. Oh, right above the market. Yes. The view will be amazing. Rushes and combs from Firenze. From Try them. My lady, why not change your hairstyle? Thank you, but I like it like this. Oh, good for you. A woman's hair is her righteous crown. Beautifully said. Your hair is nice like that. Well, thank you, sir. <gasps> Look at the colours. Just imagine the clothes you can make with Look, this. The most beautiful clothes. Clothes. You can be sure. Bombs, Are you interested in any? <laughs> I'm interested in too many. Oh, marigolds, primroses. Oh. You know you're a rebellion. Only flowers. My mummy taught me. We kept them in a book at home. Do you want to buy flowers then? Thank you, but we like to pick them in the wild. It's our thing. I understand. Enjoy. Yes. Come. Let's see the rest. Sure. Let's go see our house. It should be right up here. Oh. We can share my room if you want. Don't you want your own? Hmm. I don't know. But that way we could invite each other to our rooms. Yes. I love this place. <laughs> Me too. Oh, they're playing music. Oh, I can't see. 
Hey, you know what? I'll put you up on my shoulders, all right? Oh, yes, please. Here we go. You're feeling all right up there? Yes, I can see everything. We should go see that house. Oh, already? Yes. Mother must be waiting for us. I wish we could stay a bit more. We'll come back. The people here, they don't seem to know about the bad things. Bad things? Everything that's happening outside. I think they do know. They just feel safe here. You will too. Hey, I'm going to put you down for a bit. <clears throat> Let's pick up the pace. Yes. I can't wait to see the house. I wonder how big it is. I just hope they have real beds. I hope I can see the market from my room. A king's room, of course. Of course. <laughs> Someone's had a long day. Hey, you're back. So how was it? They've got everything. <laughs> it's true. We'll have to go back all together. Sure. We need some fresh herbs. Look at that. I think we can call it home. Yes. Home. I haven't said that word in a while. I'm glad we came. <sighs> and I think someone needs to take a nap. I'm not tired. <laughs> sure. Let's go see inside. We're home, Hugo. Our new home. Let's take a look around. Mm. Yes. All right. We'll do that later. Mother, where's Hugo's room? He's exhausted. Upstairs. The bed is ready. Thanks. Come on, you sleepy beast. You must come, Amicia. Come where? The island. You'll be healed there too. Healed? Well, that would be nice, I'm sure. It will be. You're thinking too much. Sometimes it's better just to trust your feelings. I'm trying, but I... I get stuck in the logic of it. Substances obey natural law. The macula does too. You don't need logic, Lucas. You just need to be human. Maybe... <sighs> I'm just not very good at being human. You are. This is why you have doubts. Today must have woken it. We had six months of respite after he passed the second threshold. But the balance of his blood is very delicate. Amicia, go with Lucas. Magister Verdun is somewhere in this town. Find him and tell him to come quickly. Right away. Amicia. I know. We'll be careful. It's because of those farmers. I should never. Oh. It's not your fault. How can you be so sure? You can't control what happens in his blood. The macula keeps evolving, pushing the carrier through different thresholds. Will this Magister Vodan really help? The Order has been studying the macula for centuries. If they can't, I don't know who can. Lord, protect him. 
Why hasn't Vodan shown up already? I think he's just being discreet. The order works like this. Someone must know about him. Let's ask around. Here, a town guard. I'll ask him. Uh, hello? Excuse me. Would you know the whereabouts of Magister Vaudin? Uh, I've heard of a Sir Vaudin, not a Magister. Try the marketplace. There's a couple of florists there. I think they deal with him from time to time. Thank you. Good. That's a start. I should have known. Of course he doesn't go by his order's title publicly. We came by the florist earlier. It's somewhere around this marketplace. Hello again. Oh, it's you. Looking for flowers for the little one? Actually, I'm looking for Sir Vaudan. I believe he's one of your clients. He's my husband's client. He's the one who deals in medicinal herbs. Oh. But Morton should be right by the fountain. Just tell him I sent you. He's wearing a brown tunic. Brown tunic. Thank you for your help. Let's hope he tells us. He will. Excuse me, sir. Your wife sent us? Now, what does she want now? I'm busy cleaning this mess. It's not for her. We must find Sir Boda. Him? Well, he doesn't like to be bothered. Just like me. Listen, my brother is very sick. We need him immediately. Oh, all right, all right. I don't know precisely where, but I think he lives close to the arena, down there. Don't tell him I sent you. Don't worry. Thank you. Right, let's not waste time. The arena district. That's a lot of houses. How are we going to find him? There's mischief in the air. I can feel it. Yes. That's why I keep the children in this It's a slum. The order's not poor, so what would a magister be doing here? Probably hiding? Probably. Amicia, that symbol on the wall. The order? Yes. He's in here. No one gets in. The arena is off limits. Why is that? Because the Count of Provence said so. Get going, please. Listen, I really need to pass. It's all right. Come. We'll go around the arena. <sighs> Now's not the time to argue with soldiers. Let's look around. You're right. Sorry. There's a door up there. Yes. So, ready to break the law? Come on. Is it? The bite, yes. They've locked the arena down. They let them die here. It's starting all over again. Not starting, spreading. Hugo, we brought it here. Let's find Magister Voda if he's not dead already. I can't believe they left him to rot here. These people look poor. They must be from the slum outside. How come nobody noticed their disappearance? Maybe nobody cares. Maybe. Please, no! People, shh, what now? Where is he? Talk. I don't know him! I swear! You piece of not good. He has a helmet. I can't do anything. What do we do? Uh, let's just pass. Not a sound. You're alone, and I have all the time in the world. Just talk to me. Please, let me go! That brute is not a soldier. He's dressed as one. Not a single coin. Oh, how many are there? Man, if I find him, I could ask for a reward. Oh, it stinks. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to be sick. No. 
<coughs> Please, no. Up there. Looks like it leads back inside. Let's find something to get up there. Oh, quick. There's some sort of half cart here. But it's not high enough. I think they were moving the bodies with it. Oh, that cage up there looks the right size. Ugh. It's full of bodies. Oh, don't look at... Oh. Let's push it. It's a massacre. We brought it here. We condemned them. It's still going on in Guyenne. It's already spreading. Yes, but they would have seen it coming. It wouldn't have changed a thing. Let's go, quick. There's so many dead already. Like it's one step ahead of us. Yes, but none of them look devoured. You smell that? Dead bodies. What is this place? A hospital? I think they used to live here. No wonder they all fell ill. I can't get used to it. You don't have to. Oh, Lord! It's a whole city! The symbol. He's in that tower. He has to be. Has to? Lucas, crossing this mess won't be easy or quick. It's the order. A high magister would just live in a high tower, no? <sighs> Let's just get there. <gasps> Are you sure about this? Well, it's the only way. Just be careful. Yes, 
That will hold. Look, they're climbing. What? How? This is so bad. We get to that tower, get Rhoda, bring him back to Hugo and leave. My materials. I lost all of it in the fall. We'll do without. Yes. Please don't drop that torch. Whoa! Uh, steady! Huh. How did we do this? With exceptional skills and resilience. <laughs> it's starting again. Do you realize what that means? I do. But we've been through this before. You saw how they charged us. The way they move. They're faster, more agile, more intelligent. But we made it. Barely. Let's find Magister Vaudin. With the Order by our side, we won't have to face this alone anymore. I really hope that you're right. Please tell me we didn't stray from it. Yes, the tower! We got a bit closer now. A bit. But I'll take that. We're getting really close to the tower. One last push. This thing is big. He has to be in there. It looks like the safest place anyway. If the Order still has that power, maybe they could save Hugo. We're here. I think we're safe now. You did great. What's wrong? Vodan is somewhere in here. We did it. Those last months on the road. After all that happened in Guyenne. Hugo was always worried that it would start all over again. Everything was so nice and quiet, and so I told him that maybe it was over, that the worst was behind. We all hoped it was. But what are we gonna tell him now? That the rats are back? That the bite has killed hundreds? And this new home that he likes is already dying? I'm not ready for this. No one could be ready for this. But soon we won't be alone in it anymore. We'll have the best alchemists by our side. Good? Good. Now look. A real order lodge. Let's get this Magister Vodan to Hugo. Magister Vodan, I'm Amicia de Rune. The daughter. That explains why those brutes downstairs are so quiet. The Order was quite impressed by the way you put down the Inquisition in Guyenne. Well, I didn't have a choice. Not a choice. A calling. That of a carrier's protector. A what? A protector. Your function among the Order. Wait, I'm not. And you are? I'm Lucas. I'm an alchemist too. An apprentice. Does your Magistrate know you entitle yourself? Who cares? The macula's woken up again. My brother needs your help, and the rats are already there. Control your flame, Protector. Others are burned in it. Take my bag. Let's go see that carrier. Magister Vaudin. Where is he? It's upstairs. How are you doing? I'm scared. Hugo, 
This is Magister Vodan. Hello. We should start immediately. I will need silence. Mother. I'll handle it. We need Nightshade as soon as possible to calm the tremors. You're in no state to do this. I'm going. I'll sneak in. I can do it. 